Okay, so we're going to delve a little bit deeper into lens design. We're going to talk about compound lenses. We've already talked about spherical lenses and how with a spherical lens, the power is the same in all meridians. In a compound lens, it's exactly the opposite. The power is different in every meridian. So there's two principal meridians in a compound lens. One is called the power meridian. And one is called the axis You'll understand this a little bit further once we get into this in, in 1040, um, Anatomy and Physiology, talking about why we need a lens like this. This is a, a cylindrical lens, a cylinder, a cylinder. Think of it in terms of a Coke can. So a Coke can, when you, when you look at the side of the lens, this meridian, so you cut this in half and you, you have a cylindrical lens then. In this meridian, the up and, the up and down side of a Coke can there's zero power. This would be the axis meridian. Okay, so it's flat. Okay, around the other meridian that's 90 degrees away from it is called the power meridian. and it has the full power of the lens. So back to the pro protractor, as we talked about, remember we talked about meridians, uh, say that the axis that we're dealing with here is 90, straight up and down, 90 degrees, is the, the axis meridian. Well, at 90 degrees, we don't have any power, zero power. In 180, which is also the zero, we have the full power. So say that the cylindrical lens, say the spherical lens is a minus three, you guys got some myopia and then he's also got some astigmatism and so he's got two diopters worth of astigmatism so his prescription from the doctor would look like this for our purposes because we're dealing with 90 degrees and so at 90 degrees none of this would be in effect it would just be this so at 90 degrees we've only got the power of the spherical lens because remember that's the same in every meridian so we've got a minus three in effect at 90. When we get to 180 and we have the full power, we still have that minus three because it's in every meridian, but we also have the minus two that comes from the cylinder part of this. And so the full power of that lens in the 180th meridian is five diopters. So that's compound lenses. We're going to apply this in the next video.